In this section, we will be learning about how you can give rounded corners to the borders and make them look aesthetically pleasing. There is one simple property used for giving rounded corners and it is border dash radius that is border radius. This property is very easy to use and not much complicated to understand. So without further ado, let's understand its use by seeing it practically. I am going to create a paragraph in the body. So I'll say paragraph and I give a message. Let's say watch the corners. Now let's give some formatting to this paragraph. I'm giving border, background, color, padding, margin, font size, align the text center. All right. Now let's run the code and see how does it look. So this is the output. As you can observe, the corners of the box are normal and defined. Let's give some roundness to the corners. If I want to give rounded corners to all four corners of a rectangle, then either I type border radius four times. That is the normal CSS or I can use the CSS shorthand. So if I give 20 pixels, it means that 20 pixels border radius is for all four sides. Let's run the code and see what happens. Now you can see that all the corners are rounded. Remember, I have used CSS shorthand here. So if I want, I can use 20 pixels, space 20 pixels, space 20 pixels and space 20 pixels. But CSS gives you this shorthand where you have to give same value to all the corners. You give 20 pixels straight away. Now let's add few more values to the radius. I'll give border radius to 20 pixel space 45 pixel. Now here it gets a bit complicated. So as you know earlier, we had given single value to the radius which affected all the corners of the box equally. But as soon as you start giving multiple values to the radius, you are changing or working on the corners independently. So the first value changes the top left and bottom right corner of the box while the second value will change top right and bottom left corner of the box. Let's go back to the output. You see the corners are now different. Now let's add three values. When we add the third value to the radius, it will affect on the bottom right corner of the box. That is this one. Let's do that. I will say eight pixels here, saving it and now let's run the code. So you see the last corner that is the bottom right corner is changed. When we add three values, the first value will affect the top left corner that is this one. The second value will affect the top right and bottom left corners and the third value will affect the last corner. You can also add fourth value to the radius and that will affect the last corner. In short, four values for four corners. That's how it will work and that I am leaving for you to practice. We can also write border top left, border bottom right and so on. That is also a valid syntax. So you can experiment on it by giving different values and creating your own styles.